Welcome to ST Math. Do you enjoy playing video games? ST Math is a series of games that will make math easier. The object of the games is very simple. Get Gigi, that's the penguin, across the screen. ST Math is different than what you usually do at school. You're probably used to your teacher telling you how to do math problems and if you have a question, you ask the teacher and the teacher explains and shows you what to do. But when you play video games, do you usually go ask your parents or your teachers for help? No, you probably try some things on your own, you look for clues and patterns, see what happens, and then figure it out for yourself. That's exactly how you play ST Math games. We call this Think Before You Click. When you first see a game, you'll want to ask, where is the path? So, what's the path in this game? Gigi wants to cross the screen, but has to get by a bunch of flower petals. After finding the path, ask yourself, how can I help Gigi cross? Just like in other video games, try moving your cursor around on the screen to see what moves. What do you think you need to do here? So in this game, it looks like we need to choose ones, tens, hundreds, or thousands. And I notice the B above each column here shows a two, so I think I might have to double what's there. I'm pretty sure there's not two ones or two tens here. I'm not quite sure whether this shows two hundreds or two thousands. Once you figure out what to do, visualize your answer. Make a movie in your mind of what the pictures will do when you click. Use what you know to predict what you think will happen. Then imagine what you'll see on the screen. There are a lot of petals here, and I see a two under the B, so I think there are two hundreds. I think the petals will go up, fill in the flowers, and so Gigi can cross. But if I had no idea, I could just try something. Mistakes are learning opportunities in ST Math. Don't be afraid to get something wrong. Take risks, see what happens, and learn from your mistakes. The last part is to watch what happens after you click. Keep your eyes on the screen. By watching, you can see if what you tried worked. If you get it wrong, it'll show you why. If you get it correct, you'll see why. Let's try it and analyze what happens. All right, I'm going to click. Watch what happens. Hmm, that wasn't enough. I can see there are a lot more petals left on the path, and Gigi can't get across. I really should have chosen the thousands because I can see now that there were way more than 200 petals. You may need to do these last steps several times before you figure it out. The struggle and the challenge you'll encounter is what makes it fun. That 200 wasn't enough, so I'm going to try 2,000. I think now the petals are going to go up and fill in two of the thousands, and then Gigi can cross. Let's try. All right, we're going to get it. You can also use things like grid paper, blocks, or whiteboards to help you figure it out. The better you visualize what you think is going to happen and compare it to what really happens, the more you'll be able to figure out how the games work and to learn how the math works. And that's really different than the way we usually learn math. And now it's your turn. Have fun playing ST Math. 